In the midst of worries about Greece, S&P downgraded Spain's debt yesterday. We partner now with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven Bradford joins us now live from London. Richard, always glad to have you with us. One thing that I think everybody reacted to is that there's nothing new out of Spain. Why would S&P make this call now? It does seem a bit that way, doesn't it? It's a, it's a really strange thing to, it almost looks as though S&P is behind the curve playing catch up here. There is very little that's new. We've known that Spain's got a, a debt to GDP ratio of 55%, not so worrying. Its economic growth, uh, it, its economic growth is stalled. S&P's revised their forecast downward. Don't forget rating agencies are supposed to be forward looking. So yes, they, they reckon growth is gonna be a, a more sluggish point 7% over the next years to 2016, the next five years. Um, but really, the, there's no new news on Spain. It is just suffering from the Greek contagion. For as long as the Greek government and uh, the IMF and the European Union vacillate or gyrate on this uh, bailout package, we're going to be suffering this sort of stuff. And if you like, s and just adding to the bad news flow. Richard, you gave us a really good statistic there about Spain's debt to GDP ratio and showing that it's really far from being as serious as it is in Greece. Yet Spain is, of course, a bigger country, a more important part of the euro. What happens if just rates become, uh, borrowing costs become too high for Spain? It's more dangerous. Yes. Uh, they, it, it's not so much a problem. They have got to raise 77 billion euros this year. So this is going to push up their borrowing cost. I think it's just gone over four percentage points. So that's the sort of headache it doesn't need. But its overall debt at 55% is, is half the um, ratio of Greece, which is on 110. So literally half. It's not as worrying. It's, uh, and this is the problem. There's a sort of bond vigilante negative sent sentiment swirling around. But it, it, the problem is that, for example, Ireland, which we talked about yesterday, has largely fulfilled its borrowing requirement for this year. Spain's still got quite a way to go.